Happy Friday, everyone. Let's get right out to Michelle. And Michelle Broncos 2 0. It would be great if they can build off this little win streak they got going. Make it 3 0. I know. We all have our fingers crossed. Hopefully, they can do it. And as Justin says, they should be able to do it. It is great to be back here at Mile High. The team and, of course, the surrounding neighborhood and all the fans, they are ready to welcome everyone back. In 2019, the Denver Broncos and Chicago Bears played to a packed house with every seat filled as the fans cheered on not only the team, but they also honored Pat Bullen. A year later, though, everything changed. Only a few lucky fans were in the stadium when the Broncos lost lost to the Tennessee Titans. You remember that? That was as the coronavirus prompted strict restrictions. Well, this year, it is back to that full capacity, and the man in charge of the stadium says they are ready. We are all so excited to welcome Broncos country back. It, it, it wasn't the same last year without the fans. This is awesome. Everyone here, this is what we do. This is what we live for. We can't wait for fans to be back. I mean, when when we have 75,000 of our fans all dressed in orange, all going berserk, and that that rookie quarterback starts losing his mind, it's exciting. I think all the fans are going to lose their mind. That's going to be so awesome. And, you know, Justin Adams joins me this morning, and we're talking about this home opener with the stadium packed. It's going to make such a difference for the team, don't you think? 100%. Not only for the businesses around the areas, but also for the players on the field as well. It's going to be a great sight to see. But you know what? Last year, there were only 5,700 fans that were allowed in a power field at Ma High, and that was because of the coronavirus pandemic and to the limited amount of fans that were allowed into the stands. And this was something that we saw all across the NFL. According to the Associated Press, NFL teams lost, get this, almost $4 billion of revenue due to the pandemic in 2020. Now, stadiums weren't the only place that felt the impact from the empty seats. So did businesses around Mile High. Mayor Michael Hancock saw this firsthand of how businesses from bars and restaurants to hotels were impacted without having those fans packing the stands. Those are what we like to say bodies in our hotels, they are in our restaurants, they're in our downtown area, our Cherry Creek area, and other neighborhoods. The reality is it's an economic hit for us every Sunday the Broncos play here at home. So when we're not able to have fans, we lose all that opportunity, and of course jobs are at stake, and there are a lot of people who depend on those jobs at Empower Field. Now, Michelle, one thing that wasn't impacted was the sellout streak for the Denver Broncos. The current streak is, get this, at 415 games, which is the longest streak in the NFL. And get this, it started all the way back in 1970. Wow, no surprise. Broncos fans, they love their team, right? 100%, and that's the reason why it's so hard to get a ticket. But if you do, you have the golden ticket, so be sure to enjoy the game. It is the golden ticket. We are so looking forward to this weekend. All right, Justin, thank you. Ashton, I know you've been giving me a hard time about mm -hmm. being cold out here. Yes. I don't care. It is chilly. We're all chilly out here. But something to keep me warm, one of the fans 